Kevin Costner once gave his frank take on Meghan Markle's position in the media spotlight, claiming in a 2019 interview that she had enough attention. Kevin Costner, 67, stars in biographical crime drama Molly's Game on BBC Two tonight. The Hollywood star plays the domineering father of the author Molly Bloom, whose dreams of being an Olympic skier tragically ended with injury. Jessica Chastain stars as Molly, who becomes a bigger name in the gambling world after running a high-stakes poker game, which is then targeted by the FBI. The stellar cast of Aaron Sorkin's debut film also features British star Idris Elba as Molly's lawyer. Michael Cera and Chris O'Dowd, who are usually known for their comic roles, also give dramatic performances. Kevin's most famous role is as former Secret Service agent Frank Farmer in 1992 Hollywood smash hit, The Bodyguard. The actor gave a wide-ranging interview about his life to Lorraine in 2019, in which he explained how Diana, the Princess of Wales, had been lined up for Bodyguard 2. Discussing today's royal family with Ross King, Kevin also gave his frank take on Meghan Markle's global fame. He said, being in this circle that I don't even understand you know, royalty. It's a unique spot. We watch it from across an ocean and sometimes we don't understand exactly what is going on. She's had enough attention for a lifetime now in a year. The star was asked whether Meghan, who starred in US legal drama suits before marrying Prince Harry, could ever return to the acting world. Drawing on his own experiences, Kevin jokingly said, it would be hard. Why? Because if you're Harry, and he seems like a great guy, that's why I'm not married to an actress. I don't want to see my wife kissing somebody. I'm on Harry's side. This is the step. I don't want to be a person that is ever limiting somebody. There is so much thought that goes into, number one, being a wife. During the interview, Kevin also spoke about Diana being lined up for a bodyguard sequel before her tragic death in 1997. The star explained how Sarah, Duchess of York played a key part in arranging for the royal to appear in the film. He said, Sarah was really instrumental in that. Something I always admired about Sarah was how open she was to that idea and how supportive she was of the idea, and clearly how much she liked Diana. When we lost her, that was tragic. Incredibly tragic, and private to me actually. I didn't talk about it for a year, and somebody else talked about it and that's how that story bubbled up a while ago. There was a little discrepancy about whether it was true or not, and we worked our way through that. But one of the things about Sarah that I don't know people know is, Sarah in trying to help this along never once said, well what about me? She never joked about it, she never hinted at it, she was all about Diana. It was really incredibly respectful the way she was. Responding to Meghan's fan on Twitter, Piers Morgan also said, I don't hate Meghan Markle. He also disclosed the reason why he criticizes Meghan Markle, saying I just hate the damage she and her drippy doormat husband are doing to the royal family and monarchy with their constant unsubstantiated smears and attacks, whilst hypocritically exploiting their royal titles for huge financial gain. Earlier, the senior journalist tweeted, It's amusing how my legitimate criticism of someone like the ghastly Ms. Markle is automatically categorized by the woke brigade as a, racist B, damaging to her mental health or, because I must fancy her. In fact, it's just because she's ghastly. In fact,